why do you think you're here? Not just sitting in this traffic jam, but why are you here at all? Why are you alive? And many of us say that's much too big a question for me to answer. Uh, my problem is staying alive. My problem is just earning enough money to pay the rent next month. I haven't time for cosmic questions like, why am I alive? That's all right for wealthy people or people who have time to idle away in such philosophical vagaries, but I myself do not have time for that kind of question. And yet, it is crucial that you have some answer to that question, isn't it? You may say, well, no, it's not. I mean, my job is just to get what food and shelter I need for today so that I can get up again tomorrow. But why get up again tomorrow? And you may say, well, yeah, that's exactly the question I've often to put to myself. When I think of the meaningless routine that I'm involved in day after day, I do wonder that at times. Why bother? Why get up and go through it all again? But I really can't think of an alternative. I don't uh, think I'm a suicide type. I don't see any sense in that. And I can't find any books that help me to understand life better. And to tell you the truth, as I look around at everybody else, I don't see anybody else understanding it any better. So I think we're all in the same little rat race. We are just on a kind of treadmill. And we're just walking and walking and walking because there's nothing else to do. It's like the people who climb mountains, because the mountain is there. That's what I'm doing. I'm living day after day, driving this car to work, coming back to this house, because it's here. What else is there to do? And yet, it is true that we human beings are different from animals, isn't it? I mean, we are able to reflect on what we're doing. Uh, the psychologists call it a self-critical faculty. We are able to look at ourselves as in a mirror and judge what we're doing and identify whether it's the right thing or not. And indeed, we're even able to evaluate it. Uh, you do that in your work, probably. Uh, you evaluate where you are in your job or your individual piece of work that you're doing today or your career generally. You come to the end of a day and you look back on the day. You may not want to look back on it, but you do. And you evaluate what you've done. Now, a little dog, believe it or not, cannot do that. An animal does not have that mysterious ability to look at itself and judge what it's doing. It uh, simply can't do it. Uh, even if it could do it, it doesn't have anything to judge itself against. A little animal lives a, a simply unconscious life. And you may say, well, that's what I'd like to do. I'd just like to live an unconscious life. Indeed, that's what I try to do. I try to enter into unconsciousness as often as I can. Uh, sleeping, uh, if I can get a good sleep and drinking, if I can really uh, get totally drunk and zonked, then uh, I seem to be able to bear it a little better. Uh, I only wish I could work out how to do my job completely unconscious. Uh, in other words, completely uh, drunk. Um, I've tried drugs, and uh, that's what I'd like to do with the drugs. If I could blot everything out, if I could make the world go away, as that old song said, then I think I could live like an unconscious little animal, uh, as you described the dogs doing. But it's 
true that you are more than a dog, aren't you? You are more than an animal that lives that kind of almost mindless existence. You obviously have abilities to think about these things. And you may say, yes, I have, but I don't want to think about them. I mean, my old grandmother used to say, don't think too much, and that's my aim. I don't want to think too much about these things. It's okay for educated people. It's all right for those people who like to philosophize, but it isn't very productive. So I really don't want to bother with that question, why am I alive? And yet, you know your life is going to end sometime. And sooner or later, you're going to have to find out why you were alive and what you were here to do. And you may say, well, yes, but I don't think I have to deal with that yet. I'll deal with it perhaps when I come to the end of my life. I'll deal with it when I get older. I'll deal with it when I'm 85 or 80. But I don't have to deal with it now. And yet, don't you agree that there are many things in your life at present that are there because you have certain ideas of what life is about? I mean, you may say, well, you don't know why you're alive, and yet you probably would admit you're alive at the moment, living day by day, to make money. And you may say, yes, well, I have to make money, otherwise I couldn't have food and I couldn't have clothing. But still, that is a reason that you have chosen for being alive. And so you are in process of answering the question why you're alive at this moment by the way you live. And you may say, well, yeah, yeah, that's true. I suppose that's right. Uh, some people uh, have turned away from the philosophical question and have started to answer the question by just living to be happy. And uh, so I suppose you're right. We are, in some sense, answering the question right now by the way we're living. That's why I ask you to look at the question again. Because whether you like it or not, you are answering the question in the way you live at this present time. And so it's very important that you don't answer it by default that you don't answer it while thinking that you're not answering it. Because if you do that, then you're not giving the most important question in the world your best attempts and your best thought and your best ability. You're really answering it by default. You're answering it by not answering it. You're answering it by expedience, by just doing what seems to be here to do. But you're not really giving it the kind of thought that your mind is capable of. In other words, it's important to deal with the question why you're alive, because whether you like it or not, you're answering it by the way you live at this present time. And one certainly doesn't want to treat it as important and vital a question as this with less than one's full ability and less one than one's full reflection and analysis. And if you say, why not? Well, because it's obviously the most important question in the world. If I asked you, why are you buying that car? You wouldn't say, because it's there. If I said, why are you taking that job? You wouldn't say, because it's there. You normally say, well, I'm buying that car because I like the paint job, or because I like the size of the engine, or I like its handling on corners, or I'm buying this house because I like the district it's in, or the area, or the neighborhood, or I like the look of the house, or the spaciousness of the living room. In other words, in ordinary everyday life, you always give your very best thought to the important questions. That's why it seems important in these days, when you are able to think about it, to think about the question, why are you alive? Why are you here? That's the question that we would just like to summarize an answer to tomorrow for a few moments.